Okay, it's 1.57 in the afternoon on December 31st. My name is Leora Strong. We're at 19500 Hidden Springs Road in apartment number four, West Lamargan, 97068. So we're just doing a walkthrough video to show the different locations of mold in the house, to also show that there's no damage in the apartment. We have cleaned the apartment, everything's okay. So starting here is the first area of mold. You'll see it's coming up off of the wall. And also back in here on the plastic part, there's a little bit behind the toilet. On the second area, we have the ceiling here above the shower. That's mold number two. And then we're gonna go to number three, which is back here in the left corner. And then to the right is mold number four. And then if we go down along the baseboard, we have mold number five. You can see the mold going out of there. And above the heater, in two locations, we have right here and here, is mold number six. It's a little hard to catch on the video, but in here, underneath, there's mold growth. It almost looks like water has run down in here. There's mold growth as well inside there. Alright, and then if we look behind the door here, there's mold growing out of the baseboard as well. And by the way, this is the bathroom inside the master bedroom. And just to take note, I wanted to show how not well the fan is. So, I come up here. It doesn't suck it up there. It doesn't really suck it up there. A little bit there. If this was a good fan, it would hold up the whole piece, no problem. It's been like this ever since we moved in. We asked maintenance to fix it, and that never happened. mold number nine here growing out of the top of the ceiling. Then we have mold number 10. We have here on the left side and we have here on the right side. They're just speckles but they're, they are mold. On the number 11 we have some here on the left side. Also here on the right side. Number 12 here in the corner going up the wall. Number 13 is our windowsill, and you can see the mold growing along the bottom. It's very bad here on the right side at the windowsill, you see that black mold. Um, if you look along the bottom part, you can see the water damage, where water had constantly been running down our window onto the frame. Alright, and then number 14 is our heater in our master bedroom. You'll see inside, it, it looks like junk, but it's actually mold inside of there that's been growing. It's all the way from the right side to the left side. That's mold number 14. And then number 15 is the big problem area. Um, this area, as well as number 10 and 11, have been scrubbed down by maintenance and paint it over and this mold has grown back through. Number 16 shows that there's speckles coming up the wall here which shows that there's moisture underneath the wall. Um, and I just wanted to note this is the mold control that our the landlord gave and told us to spray on the mold when it happened. I let him know that it was a structural issue and that it would grow back through. And he said to just spray it on there anyway because it's going to kill the mold. This is number 17. And there's some mold down there on the bottom as well. Right. And then we're going to go to number 18. Number 18 is to the left of the sliding door along the frame. And it goes up. Um, past the handle of the sliding door. And 
And then we have number 19 on the right side of the sliding door. And that also goes up above the handle of the sliding door. All right, and then number 20 is the living room window. And there's also mold growing everywhere. This used to be a puddle of water down here very often because there's so much condensation built up. We we're constantly opening the doors. We can never get the moisture out of here. And then we're going to go to number 21. This is the kitchen window. And you can see the mold growing all around the frame. Um, up here on the right, you'll see that the paint is separating because um, of the moisture was so bad. There's some pink stuff mixed in with the mold there on the bottom. Pretty yucky stuff. So that's number 21. We're going to go to 22. This is the northwest room. Um, this mold came through when I first noticed it. There was a wet spot right here, and water was permeating through the wall and running down onto the carpet. That's number 22. And number 23 is at the top of this window. It's going to be a little hard to see, but there's mold. You can see it transitioning from the paint to the frame. It's pretty yucky stuff. Number 24. This she tried so hard to scrub it down and it just came back so fast. Comes all the way up here to the top. And if you actually go back down and across, you'll see it coming um, all the way to the left um, and up the windowsill. So that's number 24. Number 25 is in this bathroom here. Um, if you'll see this, it's along the tub. Um, we actually didn't notice this until the mold inspector showed us. I tried to wipe that off. Number 25, let's go to number 26, which is in this room here. Not so much mold on this side, but starting here and then going over, you'll see mold on the bottom. This is our friendly little June bug who we put in there and mold started growing on it. <laughs> Poor bug. And then number 27 is in the closet here. We actually did not know about this mold until the items were removed out of the closet recently. Number 28 there in the corner. Mold everywhere. Number 29 is in the kitchen. So bad in here, but you can see that pink stuff again. Um, there's mold in the flight frame. You can smell it. Um, it's very mildewy, moldy. And then we could just run a video just to show you know everything was cleaned out. Everything looks nice. It was just the way it was given to us. In the cupboards here. Pictures have been taken of everything. So we have that. And then if you want to turn around on this side. And here. And then this cupboard here. Nothing left behind. Yeah. And then just kind of want to show here, there's water that has come up on the bed. This is not here prior to us moving in. 
This is my damage here. Is that? Okay. Um, obviously this is just one side, but that's enough to show you our mattress over here. Very moist. Um, this mattress is in the master bedroom where it had the most issues. Um, you can just you can just feel the moisture. You can smell the mold on it. Obviously, you can't really see any black spots, but um, if you were here, you would understand that this has been exposed to high levels of mold. And then I'll just go in the bedrooms one more time and just show that there's no damage to the carpets, to the walls. Everything looks nice, except for the mold. Grab that screw. And then this room, show a video of that. pulling apart from itself all over that wall. It's just on that wall. Moisture underneath? Didn't dry right? I don't know. And then just the bathroom. It was cleaned. Everything was pulled out. The windows, the mirrors look nice. And inside the cupboards were cleaned out. And that's our video of apartment number four. Got all of our mold spots, all 29 of them, and just the uh, overview that our apartment was cleaned out and everything looks nice.